What if I told you that this man that you're looking at is not who he says he is? Surely you'd believe me because this is a ridiculous wig. And look at those glasses, clearly a disguise. But I have to admit, it did have me stumped for a minute. Then I dug a lot deeper and, well, I'll show you what I found. Welcome to the Aquamarine Club, the joke of all Ponzi schemes. Could you share a few of the things that you do to make sure the funds are, are protected? Or secure? Uh, yes, of course. Yes. Um, see, the, the aside from the huge investment, what I made for, for the software, hmm? for the software and the... Uh, arbitrage um i invested a lot of money meet michael garrett or real name guido gerhardt at least the last name sounds similar i guess this moron thinks that wearing a wig and glasses is going to keep his identity hidden. let me give it a try what is up guys my name is luke and this is Crypto Truth Bombs, the one and only spot in all of crypto to get a no-nonsense, no BS assessment. Guys, I have some huge news. I'm a film musician, and I'm terrible at business. I know nothing about it. But please invest in my 80th relaunch. I promise your money won't disappear. How'd I do? Anyone actually believe that I was Luquello? No, right? Well, why would Guido Gerhardt think that a wig and glasses would hide his identity? Maybe because he's a dumb German living in Nigeria who has failed at everything in his past, including acting. We'll get to that more in a minute, but first let's look at Aquamarine Club. Aquamarine Club claims to offer incredible returns on investment, promising daily profits of up to 2.1%. These returns seem amazing, almost Ponzi-like. As the saying goes, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. So that leads to the next question. Who would be dumb enough to put their money into this scam? From my experience, there are three kinds of people who invest into these types of schemes. The first are people like Chris. I messaged Chris on Telegram to warn him that Aquamarine Club was a scam. He says, I know it's a scam and the CEO is fake, but please don't ruin this until I have time to get my money back with profit. In other words, Chris knows that Aquamarine Club is a Ponzi scheme and he's okay with stealing money from later investors. This type of thinking seriously lacks morals. He may as well snatch purses from old ladies on the street. It ends up being the same thing, but worse. Over 90% of people in these types of scams lose their money and some people end up killing themselves. Her 82 year old grandmother who lost all of her money to a con artist. Her grandmother was so devastated by the scam, she took her own life. The second type of person that invests in these types of scams are people who are financially illiterate. They really want the returns to be real and they almost need them to be real because they've always dreamed of being rich and having a lot of money and not having to work. And they've been sold the dream of passive income. They usually have very little money to invest and they just choose to believe that it's real despite a lot of the red flags, but they don't know that it's a scam the way that people like Chris do. And the third type of person is what I would call a true victim. Someone who believed the person who sold them into this. Usually these people are a little bit older and maybe in a vulnerable situation. And these are the people who usually lose the most amount of money in a scam like this because they tend to go all in. I doubt there are many of these types of people in this scam though. And the reason for that is because, well, it's quite obviously a scam. They seem to put very little thought into it. And well, the wig. And now that I've told you it's a wig, it's very obvious, right? Well, it wasn't to me the first time I saw it because no one told me that it was a wig. But it, what it did do is lead me down this long rabbit hole to figure out who this fake CEO is. So who is Michael Garrett? AKA Guido Gerhardt. I was born and, and raised in Austria. I live in London currently. I own the company. So he has gray hair or wig, glasses. He is claiming to be Austrian and he, that he's living in London, even according to his LinkedIn profile. But his LinkedIn profile shows that he was in the automotive industry. None of this makes any sense. And the reason why is because I found out that his LinkedIn profile is a hacked profile with real information from someone else. So I did a reverse image search and I found him. 
or at least I thought I did. I thought it was this Russian guy, but after doing a little bit of digging, it definitely couldn't have been him. And plus, this guy has real hair, not a wig. So back to more reverse image searching, but this time with some secret cyber sleuth skills. And I found this. Look at the eyes. The eyes give him away here. This looks exactly like him, but who is he? And how can we actually verify who this fake CEO is? Well, this image came from a thumbnail on YouTube of a Nigerian rap song. And what is a German national doing in a Nigerian rap video? The only answer I could come up with is that he had to be an actor. And I was right. Here he is in a 2018 movie in Nigeria. Lizzie, Lizzie, calm down. Please, I beg you, calm down, Lizzie. This, what you are telling me, any marriage has its challenges. You have to talk to with your husband. No wonder he turned to scamming. That is absolutely terrible. Here are a few more photos of Guido Gerhardt whenever he was younger doing some acting or some film things in Nigeria. And here's Guido, or Presido, as he was going by here in a billiards tournament in Nigeria. Presido means president in Pidgin English, which is what they speak in Nigeria. Interesting choice for a nickname. He probably should have used CEO instead. And here I found that he lives on this street in Nguno, Nigeria. Looks like a lovely neighborhood. And apparently he hangs out with some goons because take a look at this rifle. Or maybe that's just another low level acting gig, who knows? And now for the million dollar question or multi-million dollar question, depending on how much money they've stolen from this Ponzi scheme, is who put Guido Gerhardt up to this? Who put him up to acting as the fake CEO of Aquamarine Club or AMC Global, as they call it sometimes? I'm not sure exactly, but it does seem like these two Ponzi scheme promoters are heavily involved. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are in our small world. We're very excited to share with you uh, an amazing opportunity and, and, and one of the most honest, upfront, transparent CEOs that I have come across in the last 15, 16 years in this industry. I know, Mike, you can say the same thing, can't you? Yes, I can. And we definitely want to um, give a shout out and a welcome to Mike Garrett of AMC Global. These guys, Mike Lucas and Mike Donaldson, are serial Ponzi scheme promoters, and they seem to have some sort of connection to Nigeria because here on Behind MLM, you can see that they were promoting scams called ICP and COTP. The fact that these two idiots are promoting Aquamarine Club should be enough for people to stay away from it. They just promote scam after scam, and most of them are nonsense, just like this. But this one's even more hilarious to me. You have these two morons promoting it, and then you have Guido Gerhardt, a German national that's saying he's Austrian, saying that he lives in London, wearing a wig and glasses, playing the fake CEO on camera, yet he is on the thumbnail of a Nigerian rap video and thought he wouldn't get found out. And then we have the investors, which 99% of these people know that it's a scam, but they're probably just gonna lose all of their money. Who would give their money to these idiots, to Mike, Mike, and Guido, or this fake CEO guy wearing a wig, who would hand over their money to these people? They have to know that it's a scam. But the reality is there are going to be at least a few people who go all in on this, and it's probably gonna be the vulnerable population that I mentioned earlier, probably elderly, getting recruited into the scam by their grandson or nephew for the referral commissions. And what's gonna end up happening is they're gonna lose everything they have. And that's just the reality of these things. That's why I make these videos to warn people about these types of scams. And the sad part is Aquamarine Club is just one of hundreds of thousands of these types of scams that are going on every day. Sure, this one may be easy to spot, but a lot of them aren't. Some of them are pretty well disguised. Bernie Madoff's lasted for 20 years. His was the most sophisticated probably that I've seen. But then you have something like Novatech, which I covered on my channel, that lasted for around four years, it was pretty obvious that it was a scam, but it wasn't nearly as obvious as this one. The signs of these things are always 
really high returns, little or no risk, maybe a fake CEO with a wig, and a lack of registration with the proper authorities needed to accept money for an investment like this. These things go well for a little while and everyone's saying, but I'm getting paid, how can it be a scam? And then it disappears and then they start saying, well, how can I get my money back? Everything's fine until it's not. Once there's not enough new money coming in from the newer investors to pay back the older investors, these schemes just collapse. And this scam, Aquamarine Club, is going to disappear faster than Guido's hairline. Let me know your thoughts on these idiots and these types of scams in the comments below. And if you found this helpful or entertaining, then make sure that you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share this with someone else who could get some value out of it. Until next time, keep patrolling.